Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use shapes with different fill colors and different fill color transparency to create really nice visual effects for your photos. So you can see here on my cover page I have a nice full page photo that covers the entire length, uh, entire width of the page, but it doesn't look exactly like the photo did when it was first taken. So here's the original photo here, I just put it right onto uh, my entire slide there. Uh, but you can see here like on the page the photo has like a pink tint to it and then of course there's this shape that we uh, overlaid the title for some really nice contrast and some kind of graphic design effect here. So I'm going to kind of show you how we have created this photo overlay uh, so you can do it in your own slides. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert a rectangle shape and I'm going to cover the entire slide with it. So just go up to the design or go up to the home tab then the insert tab and then this shapes drop down menu here. I'm going to do the rectangle shape here and I'm going to draw a rectangle over my entire uh, the entire space of my slide here. I want to make sure that that's right to the edges. You know, if you take this with your mouse and drag it off and then drag it this way, it'll snap right to the edge. Same thing up here. That looks nice. And that looks nice too. But obviously now we just have a, 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 solidly, a solidly filled rectangle right over top of the photo. So what I'm going to do is click on this and then the Format Shape tab should pop up. If it doesn't, just right click and go to Format Shape. And then under here, the paint bucket, there's the fill color. And right now you see the fill color is this sort of pink fuchsia color. I'm going to keep it that way, or maybe I'll just do this purple color here. Uh, no, actually, let's see. Um, no, I'm going to go back to the pink color. I like that. I like that better. Um, you see that the shape is outlined, and I don't really want that outline, so I'm going to say no line. And we're going to go back up here to the fill, and you can see we have this transparency uh, slide rule here. And right here it says that it's 0% transparency, meaning the fill color is just totally solid. You can't see anything through it. But if I increase the transparency, you can see now it's starting to show through. The photo is actually showing through that transparent color. And this gives the photo kind of a nice tinted overlay feel. So you will see this technique used um, in lots of different reports and lots of different slide decks and, and presentations. I think once you see this video today, you'll, you'll start seeing this everywhere. Um, but you can really play with the transparency and you can use the slider. If I do 100% transparency, then the original photo is the way it was. And if I go back here, let's see, I'm going to actually just go in here and you can delete this and you can actually just type in a custom value and I'll do 50% right there. And then we're just going to do that same thing with that extra, I want to get that um, extra shape back here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is something similar. I'm going to go ahead and add that triangle again, the right triangle from the shapes. I'm going to go ahead, put that there. We're going to go up to the rotate menu here on the shape format tool and we're going to flip it because I want this to be on the left side. I don't want a line, uh, uh, an outline around my triangle, so I'm just going to click on no line in the format shape tools here. And then I've already uh, had my text box here, but otherwise I would just insert a text box. Oop, it, you can see it's on the different layer, so I'm going to right click and move this to the very front, bring to front, and that puts it on top of everything there. And you can see that the title looks pretty nice. Now I want a little bit more contrast and maybe I want to see some of the photo behind it. So I'm actually going to play with the transparency on this triangle too, but I'm not going to make it 50% like this is. I'm going to make it maybe 25%. So I'll change this to 25% and there you go. You can kind of see the image behind the image that's already had, that already has this overlay on. So it's kind of a double overlay there. Um, but anyway, so that's how you can use fill transparency on your um, on different shapes to really do nice, sleek looking overlays on your photos. I hope you use this technique in your work and look forward to the next video.